Are you guys still holding on to this theory about it being seven minutes of burpees? No, because everybody thinks it. So Dave's not going to do something everybody thinks. You think he would change it last minute? I don't think he'd change it last minute, but I think he... Maybe it's like, um... He wanted us to all think that. So this is all part of the master plan. Oh, right? Yeah. If he has a master plan, I don't know. <laughs> he lives for this stuff. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. He does live for this stuff, you though. Think so? Yeah. Like, have you seen him before in the announcements? It's true. He lives for them. The way it all went down last time, the way that I left that, uh, I was just kind of forced out of doing announcements, um, I didn't like. The truth is I was ready to be done then, but I was ready to stop doing announcements, but I didn't get to go out on my own terms. So these three weeks will be on my own terms, and then I'm out. Everyone doesn't know that yet, but that's my plan. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people start the same journey, but only a select few reach the destination. The CrossFit Games in Madison, Wisconsin. This year, we give you access to the elite athletes making that journey. And for the first time ever, an unprecedented look at what goes on behind the scenes every step of the way. This Go. is Miles to Madison. Smells like salt, smells like the beach. It does, it does. Is there a lot of surfers around here? Oh yeah. I wish Water I could jumping. surf. It's Never something surfed. new to learn. Yeah. Never surfed. This always makes me question where we live. <laughs> so many other places in the world. <laughs> It means a lot to lead off the community and to be a part of the first open workout announcement, especially after the craziness of last year and, you know, the long season for us games athletes. I feel like if anybody sees you, they're just going to stop. you got a big old truck. No one's going to mess with you. Yeah, it hits bright red. Super bright. Do you feel like a badass driving this? I do feel like a badass driving this. Which way am I going? Left be part of the first one is slightly terrifying. It's also very exciting. So it's terrifying in a good way. It's putting me outside of my comfort zone, which is where you grow and you learn. And so I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Say it again. The arsonist had oddly shaped feet. Huh? The human torch was at Ida Bank. What is that? Did you ever see Anchorman? Mm. You've never seen Anchorman? No. And now I should, huh? Uh -oh, uh -oh. I don't know if I can work with you anymore. <laughs> we are here at CrossFit to bring you the live announcement of 21.1 uh, with Christy Aramo and Carrie Pierce throwing down, showing us all what we're going to be doing this week. Uh, and to get everybody excited and into the open and the CrossFit uh, season. Hi, hi. Sorry, you missed out. You walked in at an awkward time. It's different right now because we don't have fans here but they're pretty much the same because live is live and it's the adrenaline of like putting on a good show, not wanting to mess up, make sure you do it, you have a good performance. And We're 10 minutes away. This is when I just look over my, uh, my format one last time and make sure that I know exactly where we're going because I have screwed this up a couple times already in rehearsal, so we'll make sure uh, we get right this time. I'm actually really happy with the way this all came together. When we started talking about it, it was using our own office wasn't exciting because we've done a lot of stuff here in the past and we knew we had to do stuff a lot differently to make it appear better. And it's gonna feel a lot better with athletes here. Nine, eight, Sean, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, two, one, go Sean. Hi everybody and welcome to the 2021 Noble CrossFit Games pre-show presented by Ram, the only truck brand to win Motor Trend Truck of the Year three years in a row. I'm Sean Woodland, she's Annie Sakamoto, Rory McTurnan is here, Derek Forrest. I'm excited here. to compete against Christy Aramo in 21.1. Also a little nervous because I know she's a phenomenal athlete and I feel like we have a lot of similar strengths. I was waiting to hear who I was competing against and I was a little bit nervous. All of the girls are great, but I feel like I have a special relationship with Carrie. We did the announcement back in 2017. It's just this experience that we bonded over and to get to repeat that experience four years later is pretty cool. It should be interesting to see what Dave Castro comes up with for the first workout, but 
I mean, we're there, we're throwing down together. It's gonna be a good time and I'm actually getting goosebumps as I'm talking about it because I'm just, I'm really excited to be here. They said they have to have time for the equipment change and the way the rig is set up, there's a fat beam under the pull-up bar. So Carrie and I both were like, hmm, we're not using the pull-up bar. So it's set up for like a, for them to screw handstand push-up boards onto each section. Yeah, which is the one thing I don't want to see. Let's get this thing kicked off. I have waited a long time to say this. The 2021 Noble CrossFit Games season starts now. It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome you to Open Announcement 21.1 presented by Fit. This is going to be a workout. We have no idea what it is until we step out on the stage having confidence in the work that I put in and the variety of workouts. Just I think let my mind be at ease and just try and stay relaxed and know that my body knows what to do. She's the third fittest woman in the world right now, so she is extremely fit and I know that it will not be an easy task or challenge. 21.1 is one wall walk, 10 double unders. Three wall walks, 30 double unders. Hard to say to amazing athletes which one is going to come out the victor, but the biggest take home is just going to be everybody getting excited about the season. Welcome to the Open and welcome to the prone pain that is 21.1. I'm like very nervous to see the workout. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so currently in the season, it's uh, week one of the Open. It's three weeks long, and then hopefully we can move on to the semifinals, quarterfinals, quarterfinals. <laughs> I like. I just oh. feel like it's gonna be like seven minutes of burpees. Burpees. Oh, what? <laughs> So when we, when we watched the 21.1 open announcement, I think we first were just like, heck yeah, let's go. The wall walk. The wall walk. You know, it was, a, it was a new movement for all of us, so there's definitely an unknown element. We both love that. You know, that's part of what makes our sport fun. This will be pretty fun. I'm excited to uh, uh, see. I mean, they're gonna throw down and do it right now too, so. He judged me on Thursday night. I think, I don't know if him watching me do it is really that helpful because we're on much different levels of fitness. But if anything, he loves watching me suffer. So it was enjoyable for him. There we go, Adam, come on. You can finish these. There we go. Two, one, nice. <laughs> After I did the open workout, he saw some things, I saw some things, we talked about it a little bit, and we left that evening like, cool. That's what we'll do tomorrow. Because we live together, the relationship goes way beyond coach-athlete. Yeah, at first it was like, hey, he's just going to come stay with us for a little bit. And, and I said, how do you know he's like a really good person? And he's like, oh, don't worry. I've talked to him on the phone a lot of times. I'm really lucky that Adam wasn't weird. <laughs> Give me the shot. If I miss this now, I don't deserve to win this game. Oh! Buckets. Went in. Got it! Now, we'll see if I can make it with the pressures on. I know. Probably not. Nope. Oh. Hey. <laughs> My role has evolved this year into not, not just being his coach, but being his advocate in terms of like, hey, let's work with a couple of other coaches that can really move the needle in his performance. Let's uh, get that bar up into uh, like shoulder press. Knowing that upper body Pressing strength specifically has been a big challenge for Justin. I have a friend, his name is Jesse Bufano. Awesome dude, he actually owns CrossFit Squamish in okay. British Columbia and is a, a wizard when it comes to powerlifting and strength training. He's a staple of our team now. He's been working with Justin yeah. really since about last November. That's gonna be a game changer for this year. That wasn't bad. Every day I train my weaknesses, so I have a full five or six hour day of working on things that I suck at. And I know that I suck at them because a lot of people are better at me at them. So there's always room to get stronger, always room to be fitter, always room to be faster. As long as I'm willing to put in the work, I don't think there's been anything holding me back. 
Come on. There you go. Oh my gosh. If you go back to when the 2020 season started in 2019, if you thought Justin Medeiros was going to finish on the podium at the CrossFit Games, you were probably related to him. To have, a, have longevity in this sport, you have to just have true love and passion for it. He seems like he just truly loves competing and doing CrossFit. It's just another workout. That's not just another workout. <laughs> First step in a long season, uh, and I know that the Open doesn't matter, but I, it's an opportunity to compete and we're here to win. So let's uh, have fun with it. You guys know the plan. You ready to crush it? Heck yeah. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Big picture, our game plan for the Open is let's do the Open within the context of his regular training. It's an opportunity to compete, and it's an opportunity to, to test yourself. But it is the first yeah, step in a long that journey that is the CrossFit Games season. I just truly believe that I'm capable of, of being right the up. best. If you can make yourself strong and be willing to like compete and grind and, and really make those sacrifices, as long as I'm able to do that, like there's gonna be nothing holding me back. Justin Medeiros has all the makings of being not only the future CrossFit Games champion, but a bona fide face of the sport. Two breaths and then a fast set of three. Two breaths, three fasts, go. It was really cool to see him on the podium because it was proof to him that he belongs. Now Justin knows what many of us close to him have known for a while. Like, you belong, you're capable of that, and we're just getting started. Push up, one foot on, other foot on, and now you're good. Yep, both hands back. So that wouldn't have counted because your foot came down before that second hand was back. Tonight's matchup with Carrie and Christy, I think on paper, Carrie's got the advantage. You know, she uh, comes from a pretty serious gymnastics lineage and that's kind of her jam but on the other hand I've worked with uh, Christy a lot she's done some testing for us and some other things and she is always game like she is always competitive and always willing to just put it on the line so I think it's gonna be closer than most people will think initially but I will still give the edge to to carry so that's where you're gonna make a mistake most people the shoulder pump is going to be real though. I think it's just going to be like making sure you don't get any no reps because it's something new and something different. So be, just be careful on that, I think. And whew, that 21, yeah, and that 21 at the end is spicy. Oh, yeah. All right, my friends, it's time to kick off 21.1. And for that, we go to Dave Castro. Three, two, one, go. And here we go, the 2021 Noble Crossing Games season is officially underway and two of the best in the world throwing down head to head in 21.1. I'm not trying to think about who would win or who's gonna win. I kind of leave that to the analysts and those guys. We knew that this would be a great workout for Carrie Pierce because it involves handstands. Carrie, in my mind, is the front runner just at face value. But all that goes out the window for the fact that like competitive wall walking is something I've not seen. Looking good, friends, looking good. 21.1, the first time we have ever seen this movement, the wall walk in the open. If you're gonna be crowned the fittest on earth, you need to be able to handle anything that's really thrown at you. And they showed you know, just how good the top level athletes are. Carrie Pierce starting to open up a pretty good lead on Christy now. When he said the workout, it's really bad and you shouldn't defeat yourself in the start, but I knew that I was just gonna have to let it go. That's it for Carrie Pierce, on to the road. Carrie Pierce was phenomenal and, and oftentimes that can give us a false sense of how we might do. We always say with CrossFit, it's about the unknown and the unknowable and you have to be ready for anything that is thrown at you. The fact that Carrie Pierce handled that new movement so easily just shows that she is ready to maybe push for one of the top spots on the podium. And that is it for Carrie Pierce, 13.05.
Final seconds for Aramo O'Connell, and she will be 138 double under short of finishing that workout. An incredible display by both of these women, and you are going to be hard pressed to find an athlete that is better suited to do well at this workout than Carrie Pierce. That's got to be Ooh. like the top time. And 200 and <laughs> <laughs> That is the number one. <laughs> My name is Maui O'Brien. I'm 17 years old. I have competed at the CrossFit Games twice, and this is my fourth year competing as a team. What did Jim Carrey do in, in uh, Ace Ventura? People play. <laughs> have no arms. <laughs> Her mental is stronger than any other 17 year old that I know. She wants to come into the gym. This is her hangout spot. <laughs> she has down-to-earth parents that respect her. She has parents that respect her space and becoming an athlete. And when you have that support, man, sky's the limit. You know, for her to come in here and, and do what she does, man, it's just, it's, it's amazing. Right? Hands, come in here. Ball. Right. Yeah, just like a bird. Yes. With the handstand. Right. right. How much pain you willing to put yourself through? And how much? Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 I did good. <laughs> yep. Molly O'Brien, Lion Brave CrossFit, girl 16-17, 21.1. You got it. 11.51. 11.51? 11.51. I wanted sub 13 because that's what Carrie did, but so that's what I went for, but sub 12 works too. <laughs> you can't do this workout again. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you can't do this again. That, that time's gonna be. Sign your name, girl. <laughs> In my cursive, I never learned. Oh, right. She's too young to have learned cursive. Refuel. <laughs> Refuel back up. Still got training. She's doing more work today. <laughs> training under James, I have seen like crazy amount of improvements in like every part of my life. Training wise, it's just been like, he's helped me with my mental game, my physical game, strength, form, all the stuff coaches do. <laughs> it's easy training her because her determination, like, hey, I need to get better at this. All right, let's do it. There's no talk back, there's no pushback, there's nothing. Like, hey, I need to get better at burpees. All right, let's do burpees. I need to get better at wall balls. Let's, go, let's do wall balls. And that's it, and, and, and that's the joy of, of being her coach and, and trainer her, is that like, she spoils me because all I get to do is come up with the fun, hard training programming for her. And I'm thinking it's going to be hard for her, but she kills it every time. People had told me how good Mal O'Brien was, but then I saw it for myself and I realized, okay, the people who were telling me about Mal O'Brien were not giving her enough credit. She has tenacity, she has determination, motivation, the focus, like you, she has it. You could tell she's locked in. We know that she does good in live competition, but again, how does she do when she's got Tia Claire Toomey on one side and you know somebody like Brooke Wells or Katrin David's daughter on the other side of her? But so far, the athlete that Mal O'Brien is, is wildly impressive to me. I never really got to live the teenage high school experience and I'm still not, but I don't know what that feels like because I started when I was 12. Can I just have a small iced cold brew with coconut milk? The outcomes that I've experienced and the joy I feel doing this sport is all that matters to me. Like Tia posted like a lot of her workout. Not all of it, so we didn't know the final time, but like. Oh, of course not. <laughs> We kind of like got some ideas, like if we can shave off a few seconds of each round, it will add up. But now I know what it feels like, which I like, that's why I like redoing it, because 
you do it once, you know what it feels like, you know what you can change, so. When you say you want to be the best at something, you have to be willing to put in the time, you gotta be willing to put in the, the effort, the motivation, you gotta sacrifice. You look at athletes like Mal and how fit they are at such a young age, and you think there is still ceiling left for this sport to grow. There is another evolution of this athlete and what it can do. I just shake my head every time when I see the times, see the effort, see the weights that she's putting up, and I'm just like, man, like, this girl is, is, is really something special. Like, I feel really good right now going into the season. I feel fitter than I ever have, healthier than I ever have, and happier, so. I want to compete as an individual for all my CrossFit career, and I want to win the CrossFit Games and do that as much as I can. <laughs> Mal O'Brien was so impressive in 21.1. She took fourth place worldwide, only four seconds off of the top time. A lot of people wanted to see how Justin Medeiros was going to be able to build on his third place finish at the CrossFit Games in 2020. Comes out, smashes 21.1, finishes sixth in the world, and it was very clear that, okay, yeah, this kid is for real. It's pretty amazing to think that two of the best uh, gymnastics-based female athletes in the field, that Christy Aramo finished 121st and that Carrie Pierce was 52nd in the world. It just really shows where the competition is at. So tonight we had just north of 100,000 people tuning in. We've got a great foundation. There's a beautiful show here. We've got great athlete matchups coming up. We can only do better. Um, but let's really use this as the starting place and start sprinting on week two. So good job. Thank you guys. We're good. Yeah. I'm happy with it. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. good to be back. Good to have these back. I think it came off pretty well. Uh, I'm excited. I hope the community liked it, but uh, I think it's I think overall we'll call that one a win. CrossFit's been my dream, like to do this. I'm excited for next week and for week three, and let's keep this train rolling. Yeah, it's, uh, we're breaking up jumping jacks, you know they're not. This year is super significant for a lot of us, just kind of coming back to the open announcement. It's been a really long, tough year for a lot of people, so I was super honored to be part of this first one. There was a couple times when I literally teared up, but mostly out of gratitude. It felt fantastic. Um, yeah, I felt like. Uh, I felt like we really connected with people at a time when they really need to be connected with. Call me cheesy, but it's my heart. Luckily, Brooke's here because otherwise I would be in so much trouble. There's only some big biscuits, though. I forgot to put them on a pan. No! She needs to stick with being an athlete. Week two of the Open, and we are happy to have the two athletes who will be throwing down in 21.2. I think it's going to be a battle because we both want it pretty bad. I'm going in and giving to Sam for run for his money. We're going to be competing for that top spot. Allow me to introduce you to a test. Oh, shit's going to get real tomorrow. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. One thing's getting to the top. Another thing staying up there. My focus is turning that four into a five. 